everyone. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and today we are going to dye a completed garment using some natural dyes. So let's go get started. All right, so today we are going to dye some leather. I've never dyed leather before, but I have a whole other outfit that we're going to dye to make some beautiful, custom, fun clothing, I suppose. And we're going to do this using some natural dyes. So we can just go pick our cornflowers, our roses, and dandelions. If we head over to our crafting table, we can make some yellow dye. We can make some blue dye. And then we can make some red dye. Now, the nice thing about these flowers is that unlike some flowers that we may try in the outside world, these, you get the exact pigment that you see on the blossoms. And, well, we'll test the wash fastness at the end of the video. Uh, but you can do color mixing. So to get purple, we just mix red and blue. That is super easy. But unfortunately, you can't make green dye. So we're going to have to go and get some additional materials for that. Aha! Thankfully, I live near a desert. So what I am looking for is right over here. Green is a bit of a pain, but although I do have a cactus farm, so I don't know why I went for a wild one, but you know, <laughs> it happens. So where you can just take our cactus and I need some fuel, grab some coal. Some dyes you need to heat them first, like the cactus, others you can just boom, get your yellow dye. All right, so now I have my cactus green dye. And actually, getting white dye is very easy. Let's just get some bone meal from some bones, and then you get your white dye. And now we can make all kinds of colors. So yes, some cyan, uh, we can make some magenta, we could do pink, we could do whatever color we want. Let's get some light blue. All right, and now uh, we are going to get set up. Now let's set up our dye pot and we're going to add some water. Now actually, we don't use the dye pot for dyeing, <laughs> but you know, we, we set it up. So now let's take our, our tunic and we are going to go, ooh, that is very pretty. We're going to go for purple, but actually that might be a little darker than I want. So let's Let's make it a more muted purple. And what if, ooh, we can keep layering on our dye colors. Ooh, apparently, ooh, that's a Rebecca color. I have no idea how I just did that. I am completely dying by feel, feel here today, but this is a beautiful iris purple. All right, we're gonna go simple with the boots and we're just gonna make them yellow. What would a white? Ooh, apparently it's almost like bleaching. And then for our pants, that green was pretty hard to get. Let's do the green, but what happens if we layer? Ooh, the cyan on top. Now, this is an outfit. Now, this is a rocking outfit. And look how fast I put that together. That was so fast, it was nearly instantaneous. But now, alas, we need to test our wash fastness of these colors. We did use natural dyes after all. Cactus, dandelion, rose, cornflower, with a little bit of bone meal and yeah. So let's, let's just dunk it in some water. My leather armor rustled, where did it go? Oh, it went back on my body. Wait a minute, the color is gone. That's not wash fast. <laughs> let's try the hat. Did it just like automatically go on my head? Yep. Same thing with the hat. Not wash fast. But hey, now we can re-dye them. Ooh, that's pretty. What if we layer on the other blue? That's cool. How's that different from just dyeing it blue? Oh, cool. There we go. Now in Minecraft, you can dye your wool. Um, you can dye your unspun wool but you cannot unfortunately dye the string. But what is interesting is you could turn your string back into wool 
but not the other way around. So you can unspin the string, but you can't then re-spin it, which is unfortunate. You really should be able to turn wool into string and not the other way around. For a fun little party trick, if I mate a white sheep with a black sheep, we're about to have a baby sheep here, they make a gray sheep. And then if I were to mate a gray sheep with a white sheep, we would get this light gray sheep. So we are gonna turn you yellow. Oh yeah, dyeing a sheep is really, really easy. And then the amazing part is that once you dye a sheep a color, you can shear them and continuously get your wool in that color. It's totally realistic. All right, so now let's mate our red sheep and our yellow sheep and see if we get an orange sheep. Oh, we did! <laughs> it's been a while since I uh, set up my rainbow sheep farm, so you can absolutely do that. All right, let's see. Do you have a name tag? Yes. Probably could have shopped around to see who had a cheaper one, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, I don't need my emeralds. Aha, we have an anvil. So apparently, we should have underscore. And now let's go back to the sheep. All right, Sheepy McSheeperson. Let's try this again. There we go. Ta-da! We made a rainbow sheep. But I think if we shear him or her, uh, we just get, uh, I don't know what color we get. Okay, we just get gray wool. We just get gray wool. So there you have it. How to dye some garments with natural dyes, fast, nearly instantaneously. Unfortunately, it is not very color fast. If you dunk it in a cauldron of water, you will rinse off the color, but I think it is swim fast. So how often do you come into contact with a cauldron full of water? Not very often. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this little April Fool's type video. This is actually my uh, real Minecraft survival world that I play in occasionally when I am not uh, filming and editing Chemnitz videos, but a rainbow sheep pavilion of some sorts is always something very important because then you have all the rainbow colors to build with. Even though I don't think I've actually used wool in any of my builds that I see over here. Uh, I mean, I have used dyes in there, but <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for a new episode of Dye Thought Weekly tomorrow. Bye everyone.